What is good, y'all? It is time for a very, very, very long needed <laughs> uh, concert update. Um, so yeah, we're not going to waste too much time. I'm going to hop right into it and hopefully you guys get to see some cool footage. Um, I'm going to keep my talk brief and get more so into like the main things that you guys really like to see, which is, you know, some first hand footage. Um, so first thing I need to tell you guys about was the Artemis concert. That was the first thing I got to go to. Um, that was back in September, August, August, towards the end of August, I believe it was. Um, so yeah, and it's like almost November now, so <laughs> it's been a minute, uh, but yeah. It was really, 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 really fun. You know, I love me, my Luna girls. So to be able to see Artemis um, in uh, a venue I've been to see them before was really, really neat. Um, they did a fantastic job. They had some really cool um, moments, um, including getting to have uh, some do some of their solo stuff. Uh, you know, being able to see um, Hustle do Plastic Candy and Let Me In was wow awesome and then having Heejin come out she did her little Avril Lavigne and the rock version of Algorithm which this video of now um so ended up watching that here on the Patreon as you probably already know um but uh that was really neat to see um and then also um having our lovely Odd Eyes Circle come out and do Sweet Crazy Love and Je ne sais quoi if I remember correctly um, so yeah, that was really, really awesome, especially since I didn't get to see um, uh, the odd, odd Eye Circle girls when they came before. Um, sadly, I still have not got to make it out to see the symbol, um, but maybe one day. But this was really, really, really great. It was good to have them come through. They did um, pretty much all the tunes. Um, it, it, it was I was there jamming beside the people um, in, in my row. We were up there singing and just having a grand old time. Had a pretty decent view. Um, and uh, yeah, they ended up squeezing in a few um, Luna songs too, OT12 Luna songs as well. So that was always, a, that's always a plus. Uh, they had like a little um, acapella section too, where they just sang songs. Uh, they like, what song you guys wanna hear? And then they just kind of hopped into it. So that was kind of neat. Um, so yeah, good old time. Always good to see um, the girls from Luna. Artemis killed it. They danced well, they sang well, and I was very pleased. So I will allow this pause to hop into my footage. <laughs> Shall we practice our cheers before we officially start? Yes, Let's go! Um, left, center, right? Okay. 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 First, here. <laughs> wait a second, wait a second. I said one, two, three. Scream, okay? Okay, one, two, three. Keep looking at you, so please keep cheering. 
After that, you know, we the next concert that I was supposed to go to was the China Gambino. Did that happen? No, no, it got canceled. Sadly, his health declined, and therefore he had to cancel his uh, concert. So, yeah, but at least got my money back on that, and uh, they actually kind of, kind of came in handy because that allowed me 
to spend more on another concert. XG, yes, yes. Oh, last thing I forgot to mention. Um, when I went to see the Artemis, the merch that I was able to get since I didn't have a lot of money at the time um, and I wasn't able to like afford, well, I didn't want to risk buying the, uh, the light stick because technically I had the money to buy the light stick, but I would have been hurting for the rest of the week if I bought the light stick. So instead I just bought this and um, I added it um, to my uh, Luna light stick. So maybe one day, maybe one day, I'll be able to get the actual um, the actual Artemis bow and arrow light stick. We'll, we'll see. Maybe one day. Um, but not now. But uh, yeah, when I went to see um, XG, it was really, really, really dope. Um, I had the VIP, so got to go, um, well, VIP 2, basically. Um, so basically got to go early to sound check so they ended up getting to um, perform a song early um, for us so uh, we had two choices and we ended up uh, choosing left right if I remember correctly I don't have video footage since we weren't allowed to you know have sound do that during sound check so um, I just have to trust my my gut on that but I'm fairly certain it was left right that was chosen so that was dope uh, being able to see that um, I thought there would be a little bit more involved in the, in the sound check part uh, I thought they would maybe get a little bit more interaction there but hey it is what it is um, so then it was just waiting till um, concert time and they came out did their first little section and it was bomb they ended up killing it the, the outfits were dope um, but you know uh, after that, it ended up going into a small intermission part with Simon on the ones and twos. He ended up having like a little DJ set where he ended up playing some tunes along with some footage of kind of like the growing stages, the pre preparation stages uh, of uh, XG, which, you know, kind of a good amount of that stuff was in their documentary. So it was like a lot of stuff that that was if not the same similar to stuff that we've kind of already seen but just put to him playing certain songs um i felt like his song selection wasn't bad it wasn't bad there are good songs but i feel like a lot of the audience which by the way they packed out the whole venue um i don't feel they were able to connect with all of them, with a good chunk of the audience because there's times where it was like he's trying to get get us hype and getting into the music and we're just kind of like uh-huh i don't know this song that well um i'm up here singing like a good portion of them some of them even i was like i don't i don't know this one but i'm a, i'm gonna try and you know be involved because that's just kind of how I am at concerts, I like to get involved, I like to sing along, I like to dance, I like to jam. If they ask for a crowd participation, I'm going to be right there with them. I, I try to be that engaged audience member because I've been on the other side, so I know that engagement is, is really needed. But he, he, he tried to get us all involved, and, and I, I appreciate that, but it did kind of, it did kind of fall flat a bit, I feel. Um, but after that, ended up coming in with um the the rap solos so well pretty much all, all the solos um they all it started off with the rap ones though uh so coconut Julian, uh maya harvey they all came out and did their solo raps um from like the ciphers and stuff so that was really really dope um uh coconut ended up coming out with with kind of her hood up for her solo and some people said that uh that it was simon who actually covered it for her while she just kind of went through the motions so i guess she wasn't feeling that well um that night but uh to be honest i couldn't tell but i mean i did think maybe there was a reason she kept the hood up throughout her entire solo section um and maybe that was why but good showmanship show must go on did what they could to make it work and it was still hype so good on you um then the our lovely vocalist came through and did their lovely solos um 
So, you know, we had Chisa, we had Julia, we had Hinata that came through and they killed their parts too. Um, and then they even got to do their group. Oh yeah, Rap Line got to do their their stuff together and so did the vocal line. So it was it was really great and then they went back into some more really cool dance stuff. They even like had like little moments where um, they did some kind of acapella uh, things to you know give time for other members to get ready to do group stuff together um so that was really neat um even <laughs> even some of the requests we ended up putting in for them to like kind of like do their parts it, it would be like say this really quick part and then oh that person is not here yet so i guess we're going to move on to the next request <laughs> so that was that was kind of funny to to come across uh but yeah that it, it was it was a fun time then we had the the last like big full set um of stuff and like in that costume and they they killed that junk they ended up getting to perform um if you know you know for the first time because it just released um and so that was really cool um and then we had the encore stage of course um so yeah really cool really fun time had a blast just thought, you know, that midsection, Simon section could have used some jazzing up, um, but hey, it is what it is, uh, and, and, you know, for the most part, I had a great time, and when it comes to merch, I ended up getting a lot, because remember I said that me not being able to go to Childish Gambino gave me some, some good uh, time to get some merch for them, so I ended up getting... A lovely light stick so now I have an XG light stick as you can see it has a little XG in there but it also allows you to switch out this so I can take out this XG and if I wanted to I can put in I'm not gonna open it on the way up I could put in my Maya one so hopefully you can see that through all the bubble wrapping and all that good stuff but yeah I have one for Maya I ended up buying a Maya um, insert I ended up having that in during the concert but while it's gonna be on my shelf I'll just have the plain old XG up there because you know gotta represent the whole group but I figured while at the concert I can talk about I can, I can rep one of my biases so my my is my rap bias, my uh, vocal bias is uh, Chisa. So ended up buying that, and then ended up getting some goodies, a lot of photo cards for uh, that went along with the light stick, some of the VIP bonuses and all that good stuff. So these are the photo cards I have here. Um, and some of them are not here anymore because I had some friends who did not get to make it to the XG concert. So I gave them uh, a choice of a uh, photo card for them to use, for you, for them to get. So I uh, allowed them to take one. Um, but these are the ones I have remaining. I have this one here. And then I have it. Harvey, Maya, Julian, Maya again, Hinata, Chisa, and Julia. So, I got all these bad boys. Um, so, that's going into the collection. Mm. And also ended up having this little lovely banner there. My lovely VIP lanyard here, along with my my extra G VIP wristband. I probably won't keep this. I I'm, I literally kept it just for this video. So that it's the one thing I probably won't be keeping. Um, and then I also have uh, uh, this here, this lovely uh, T-shirt. So ended up buying the tie-dye tee like I tell you man when it came to merch they they did not play look at that John look at this it's embroidered there and then the rest are kind of like screen print kind of stuff look at that look at that John man we like we like so I'll be looking forward to wearing that bad boy mm-hmm ah. 
So, got that. Mm. And then this is the box for the light stick. All right, let's see, let's see anything else. Oh, I guess I also have this <laughs> from Artemis. They have that here. So. Everything got covered up, so I'm just now getting to it. Um, and then also ended up getting a photo card as well with the um, the Artemis light stick. I mean the the keychain. <laughs> so let me show you that. Let me finally open it up. Oh yes, I got Heejin, baby, baby. So, Gotta cover up my code, you know. I'm gonna use my code, get it added to me, and get my my uh, comos. Or are they called something different for uh, for the for Artemis? It's probably called something else for Artemis, but either way, my extra points to vote and stuff. Um, and then this is another little card that I got for XG. So I got that really neat, yeah? Okay, so. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, put that with my lovely photo card section. All right. Uh huh. So, I'll move that over right here. All right, so up next, we have. um. Oh, yeah. Actually,
Yeah. Now, up next, we really <laughs> wanted to end up talking about um, the Atanashi Gakko concert, which I also got to go to this month. So um, it was really, really cool. The girls showed up and showed out. They ended up playing like a, a some really cool um, footage beforehand um, of like a in, uh, collaboration that they ended up doing, and it was dope. Um, and then our our ladies came out. They killed it. They did all the choreo. They sang live for sure. And I was like, yeah, man, these girls killing it. And the way they mixed all the songs together was super dope, super dope. Um, oh, another note with XG, a lot of also like song after song after song after song after song moments. Um, and it wasn't really until like the when we got to like the solo sections where they got to do a little bit more crowd talk in between. Um, but uh, same thing with Atarashi Gakko. It was a lot of song after song after song after song, and and it was very very small pockets where it's like hey let's do some interaction with the crowd. It was more just like straight up like hey everybody sing or put your hands up. Hey y'all feeling good? All right, then to the next song. But um, they did get to mix in a few more of a uh, few bits of that in between like every maybe like three four songs um, instead of kind of like maybe like every two songs like um, a lot of K-pop concerts. Um, so I just thought that was an interesting like little difference there uh, between the two. Um, but that's fine with me because I feel like um, Western concerts end up that way a lot of times too it's like hey we got a groove going we got these like nice little chunk of songs and then maybe we'll we'll say something in between or if i need to take a breath to do you know to get some water or something then i'll do that joke joke let's hop back into it um, so yeah just just enjoying different concert styles is, is is fun to find out um but yeah the merch that i was able to get from the oh <laughs> before I talk about uh, the merch I ended up getting. The only thing that kind of dampered my experience with Atarashi Gakko, I like, you know how I like to, told you that I like to be super engaged and hot and sing along and stuff. I wasn't prepared. I wasn't as prepared with this one. I didn't like delve into everything and I still need to listen to their latest album, AG Calling, which is, this is what the tour was for, um, that project. So that's my bad. That's me being a bad fan. But I wasn't able to sing along as much um, and I wasn't able to like truly super let loose because um, I was a little bit more towards the back but I was still kind of, uh, I was still kind of, you know, packed in. It, it was still kind of tight and, the, and also I had a super tall dude right in front of me, but I knew if I were to step in like to the side to like get into like that little open section between the other per the other two people, I would be in the way of the person who was behind me. So I was like, ah, I guess I'll just suffer <laughs> and turn sideways, cat a corner, that way I can look on this side, either side of this tall dude and stay out of the way of the people who are trying to look in between that section. So my view was a bit obscured and uh, it being a little bit tighter than usual, I wasn't able to like really kind of get loose and uh, I wasn't as familiar with all of the songs to just sing along with everything. While I tell you one thing, the person who was in front of me, that tall dude, he was going ham. I was like, bro, all power to you. I'm glad you're having the grandest time. Even the person beside him, he was also kind of on the taller side. He was also going ham, had the light stick and going, whoa. I was like, yeah, see, that's, that's, I wish I could do that right now, but I know I, if I did that, I'd be in the way of the people behind me. So my kind of uh, situation was a little bit different <laughs> there, um, but they did end up moving before um, they did went into the encore stages. So I did get a pretty decent view there um, on that. And then also I got a good view of uh, Suzuka when, uh, she came from the back to the front. So that was kind of neat to be able to see um, during the show. So that was that was nice. But yeah, merch. The merch that I got from them was the lovely tour shirt. 
So I got this right here. Yeah, yeah. Boom, boom. And it was super fun. I had a blast. Can't wait to wear that bad boy. So, yippee. <laughs> Outside of that, I want to talk to you guys about a, a little bit of merch that, um, that from tours that I did not get to personally go to, but Miko did, and um, she decided to get me some merch um, from that, and I'm greatly, um, you know, appreciative. So I'm going to show you um, what she was able to get me from two different tours that she got to attend. One of them was the Itzy tour, and so she got me this lovely Itzy Born to Be tour shirt. So I'm very, very happy that she got me this since I was unable to attend 
um, and hopefully we get another tour to come through um, next time as a full five. So that would be really dope and hopefully I'd be able to go. Um, but yeah, happy to be able to have this. And to be honest, I have already worn, worn the shirt. Um, and But I think I did a good job of avoiding wearing it in one of the videos before I revealed it here in a video for you guys. And then the other tour that she got to attend was We In, which I'm so sad I didn't get to go to, but what she got me was this hat. So yeah, baby, We In The Mood. Oh yeah, so uh, yes, uh, lovely We In from Mama Moo. Um, she got to see her and she got me this hat. So thank you once again, Miko. I greatly appreciate um, the lovely merch. Um, in fact, that is a perk um, from uh, being a patron of Miko. So don't forget to go to patreon.com slash muddycultmiko and um, at certain tier level, you're able to get um, merch from um, any tours that she ends up attending and she will get merch for you and have it delivered to you. So yeah, um, since she is my sister, she did get to just kind of give it to me in person, but in your case, it could be sent to you. So yeah, try and uh, look out for her Patreon and uh, see what show she's going to and she'd love to, you know, get something special for her supporters. So keep that perk in mind. But now to get into another perk um, of you guys, since you know all of this stuff you guys get to see first. Um, so the next thing I have to show you is all of my other merch that I bought. We have a little unboxing to do. So let me rearrange my stuff a little bit and uh, I will tell you about my trip to the K-Pop Trove, a new store that is in um, the mall nearby so I was like "Ooh, I didn't know this was here and they had like a gang of stuff that I been needing to get um, and it's basic I, I've been dreading the day that I actually have to unbox all of these because uh, I don't know how I'm gonna fit these on my shelf <laughs> but we'll figure it out after I show you what we got so the first thing I want to show you guys that way I don't end up damaging this <laughs> well look picking out all the uh, actual albums out of the bag is whenever you end up purchasing albums there at the K-pop trove you are actually able to um, pick uh, a photo card to go alongside it um, so they have like specific photo cards that they just have loose that you're able to um, take alongside your purchase so we have this one here from Purple Kiss. Gotta love Doshi. We got another Purple Kiss one. We got Swan. Mm -hmm. From Mem Mem. And then we got Jihyo from Twice. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Got that one, got that one, got that one. She more in here. Little bong shang acid. Uh huh, uh huh. More purple kiss. She ships. Purple kiss. Yes, Yuki. All right, so those are the uh, little extra photo cards that I ended up getting um, with all of the um, albums that I bought. So let us get into the albums themselves. It's quite a bit. So first off, we have Shiny's Hard. Oh yeah, album's great. Remember, all these albums that I end up buying are ones that um, I consider no skips so if you see me unboxing it if you have it on my shelf that means i consider it a no skip album mm, 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 mm. just like that one right over there <laughs> um triple s man triple s gotta love triple s all right so 
Yay, yay. Let's get this boy open. All right, what we got in here? We've got a little poster, a little mini poster. Ooh, yes, little mini poster. All right, all right, let's look inside the booklet. Ooh, yes, here's our photo card. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then what's this? SM Global stuff, cool. Don't need to look at that. But we could take a quick look at the booklet after I pull out the CD. I'll let you look at the disc real quick and then we'll get it ready for a photo book time. Yeah, looks good, looks good. All right, photo book. A little quick, a little quick uh, shuffle through. Little, ooh, ah, ooh, look at the boys. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. The feeling, like it. All that good stuff. Look at these lovely photos. Look at so sexy. Awesome. So, that's that. <laughs> I know, I know. Going through it real quick, going through it real quick. And let's get some lights. All right. Starting to get dark in here. Starting to get dark in here. Got a lot of them up here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff put back up and we'll get into the next CD. Up next, we have some Dream Catcher. Yes, it's Dream Catcher, indeed. Yeah, yeah. So let's get this bad boy open. Oh, oh. All right. Lovely booklet. Let's see if anything is going to pop out. I don't think it will. All right, yeah, so we'll just do a quick one like this. It's not going to do a do a one where we put it on the table. We'll just do a standing up, even though now I'm feeling that was a bad decision. But look at these lovely photos and our lovely credits and all that good stuff. Uh -huh. Get to know our lovely members. Here's the credits. Credits towards the end. All the front end is all photos. But yeah, it's good that they have like the names for everyone on the pages that they're on. But yeah, really nice. Really nice right there. Really nice. Cool. All right. So, do 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 do. All right. So, we got some dummy. Is that hollow? Oh no. My brain is is is, is far in there, but that's you, Hyun. It's not you. It's not you. Ah, why is my? Anyway, I'm being a bad a bad insomnia right now. But we have this little insert, little dream catcher thing, and then we have this too. I think this is a sticker. Pretty sure that's a sticker. Yeah, that's very sticker-like. I think this will peel off like a sticker. We got this little film strip here. Got a lovely Handong. See this? I can tell it's Handong. So yeah, that is Handong. It's the pink hair. And then the disc. Love that. Bon voyage. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get this back in here. And we'll move on to our next album. Up next, we will go into Born to Be, Born to Be, Wild and Free. Oh, oh. So, yeah, Itsy. Gotta love some Itsy, baby. This album was so good. The album was so good. Like, this is a fantastic project, and I just gotta say, 
I'm curious how the <laughs> OT5 version sounds because I still have not checked out um, the gold um, album and I, I can't wait to hear how the uh, OT5 version sound like. So we got this little bad boy with Yeji on the other side. Ooh, yes, looking good. Uh, love that. Okay, what we got here? Ooh, look at Rujin, looking fierce. With, Giving me the death glare, death glare. And we also have Rujin here. And I can see myself on the backside of this because it's reflective. Hopefully that didn't kill your eyes. And then we also have a film thingy here, a little film strip here of our lovely Yuna. Yes, yes. Look at this. Look at this. Looking good, yeah, looking good. Gotta love it. Chit show. Mm. And we also have another little poster here of our lovely four. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looking good, looking good, looking good. And then we have a little mini booklet with the lyrics. And let's take a quick look at this booklet. All right, so. Ooh, looking good. Ooh, looking great. Oh, look at Ruchi. Ooh, look at Cheon. 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 Ooh, look at Yuna. Ooh, born to be. And our disc. Cool looking disc. I like. I like. All right, up next we have Kepler. Oh yeah, I gotta love Cap One. Um, even though I still need to listen to their full albums, both their <laughs> Korean and Japanese ones. Oops, my bad. Um, and they even have a comeback coming here soon as OT7 now. So I'm really needing to catch up, but uh, hey, here we go. Giddy and lovely and back to the city. Why happy ending? It has some really good stuff on this project for sure. So this mug slides open like so. Give me, give me some, give me, give me some. All right, so we have something that we can tear open. So let's see what's inside. Oh, I got a little message that I can't really read. It says, it says, Null man non con hang unia. Yep. <laughs> Totally butchered that, I'm sure. Um, but I tried. I tried the Hangul, y'all. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> we got Hikaru. Gotta love that, gotta love that, gotta love that. I know that because she's my bias. But this one, I, I don't know. To be honest, I, I uh, there's, there's very few members that I recognize in the group. So, I know my bias, though. All right, and then we got the disc in here with the little track list on the back. Oh, full of hearts, full of hearts. Let's put this back boy in here again. Oh, look at this, a little postcard. Just in case you want to send a love letter when you're love struck. Mm -hmm. See, putting two and two together. We got some tattoos, some little tattoos that you can use. Ooh, another little postcard that you can send out to your loved one. And uh, what do we have next? Is this the booklet? Nope, oh, it is a poster. All right, so we got a poster, OT9, nice and glossy. Got to love that. Wow. Wow. Nice. Good stuff there. And lastly, we have the booklet. Let's make some room for the booklet. All right, so we got these. Let me do it this way, because backwards is always better from the direction that I'm at, so 
Ooh. Ah. Oh. Yes. Look how pretty. Look at the look at the pictures and the credits. We love to see it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. Sorry I'm going through them so fast, y'all. We got a lot to get through, so I'll just I'll just try to give you a, a, a quick taste, a quick taste of what is in the collection. Alrighty, up next we have Gio! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It goes to the back. As you can see, it's a full spread. Got to love this album. My goodness, her solo was magnificent. Can't you, can't you agree? Can't you agree that it was just absolutely phenomenal? Because I don't want to hear any other opinions that say the opposite. <laughs> no, it was, it, it was really good. I mean, look, it's a nice hardback like a hardback cover but I wonder what's on the opposite side okay because this is a ooh so because this is a little paper back wrap but we have the track list here you know Gio on the back zone 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 like I'm uh, Swiss Beats all right so since we have pockets for all the goodies so they don't fall out so that's kind of nice. Oh, there is a goodie that did fall out though. One goodie that was in the front, which is a little mini poster. Look at home girl looking good in the tan and black. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She is a bias wrecker for a reason. All right, so what's this? Is this a bookmark? It is a bookmark. Oh my gosh, there's a bookmark in this thing. So you can actually bookmark your favorite um, page. That's that's pretty neat. Okay, so what's inside the goodie pouch? The goodie pouch is right here, just so you can see. So hopefully I can get the things out of here without ripping anything. So come on, goodie pouch things. All right, I think I got them all out. We have a little stand for young Jihyo here a little little pop out thing I'm trying to see what the best direction is for this thing is it supposed to be this way maybe like there's no like bends or anything to show how it's supposed to be done so I'm like how how is this supposed to stick out exactly or maybe maybe it's like a another bookmark kind of thing. You kind of just set the page in here and and let it stick out as a bookmark. But now I kind of regret that I bent it in, in the first place because I would have just looked, liked to catch it like that. All right, so we also have some photo cards. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. Gotta love young God G here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Add that to the photo card section. We have some lovely notes from the Queen. He's actually answering questions, it seems. So, you know, maybe I'll look up a translation to these questions. Yeah. See, see, see. You even got a little photo in there. Yeah. So you got that. We have this postcard with a lovely note on the back. So we got that. And then we also have a lot of little stickers. A lot of little stickers in here. And I kind of do not want to open it to look at them all. So I'm a bad unboxing person. I was gonna, I literally was not wanting to open it, but you know, I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try and, and make it worth it, <laughs> worth the time. Okay, um, so yep, killing me. Good. All right, I'm your nightmare. Ooh. And then this, I assume, is more lyrics or a nice little kind phrase, maybe. I wanna be wishing on you, because yeah, yeah, more lyrics there. 
zone, 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 zone. Um, we always gonna be the thing they talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, these these are a lot of the, uh, the lyrics. Oh baby, we can't turn back. We're right. Uh, we're right. We're on a right track. I was like trying to phrase that the right way. They wanted Jihyo, killing me good, and baby, me too. Love it. Love it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these bad boys put back in its pouch, and then we'll do a quick browse through the booklet that's truly a book. All right, so we got goods. Ooh, look at these lovely. Ooh, that shit looks so sweet and innocent in that. This one too. Gotta love a good. Hey, she's trying to match me. Get the headphones. Hey. Ooh, with the denim. More of the headphones. A little bit more in the credits for the songs. Like it. Like it. We like it. We love it. We want some more of it. Hopefully you guys know what that's a reference to. What song? <laughs> and this is the disc. Very nice. Very nice. I'll probably have to use this little uh, bookmark here someday soon mark off something that I would definitely want to come back to and be like, ooh, she looks so good in this picture. You know what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying. Up next we have Jungkook! Jungkook with Golden, man. This project here, dog. This project here, dog. More pop perfection. And you know we love pop perfection. That boy went Oh, like standing next to you and um, seven and what's the, what's the one that with the uh, what's um the one with uh, Jack Harlow? What's the name of that one? I, I love that you won. 3D. There you go. I had to have it play in my brain for a hot second. Um, yes. So I think this is a sleeve by the way it looks like. So let's. T yep. There you go. Sleeve booklet. We got a envelope of goodies. All green, but except golden on the back. Ooh, look at the muscles shining through the mesh shirt. Another little postcard. And then we got this one too. And a postcard. We got the disc in here as well, so let's take a look. I think it's just gonna be, yeah, just the golden golden green, which I'm definitely fine with. Nice, simple, elegant look. And we got a poster. Look at this, boy. Look at this, boy. The golden machne, boy. All right, so now to move on to the booklet itself. Oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. We have an actual uh, JK symbol um, for us to be able to uh, seal something away, like an envelope away. Um, I have a little Weaver's card. Don't care about that. But I do have these photo cards, so... Ooh. Not much on the back, but ooh, Jungkook looking so pretty, so sexy. Ooh. Okay, so now for the book. What's inside the book? All right, we're going backwards. We're going backwards with this one. Thanks to, we got our lyrics along with the credits too. And then we got a lot of photos. And do that one as slowly as I want it. That yeah, one does not want to, uh, it does not want to waste time, but yes, there's that. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry that went so fast. All right. Up next we have V. Handle with care. Handle with care. 
So let's look inside this box. Slow dancing until the morning. Wow. What's in the box? Ooh, some notepad paper. Mm, Taehyung Kim. Yes, yes. Nice little message that I will have to look up the translations for. What's this? We got the lovely old doggy. You can punch it in to get it out, but you know, I, I, I opened it just fine. Another Weverse thing. Card that I don't really need. Got this lovely little sleeve for a lay disc. Let's take a look at lay disc. Yes, lay over. Very nice hand written look. All right, we have another little envelope, which has uh, some postcards, some photo cards. So let's look at the photo cards first, trying to get them all in the same direction for you. All right, look at him. Uh, don't he look good? Oh, just the back. In the back of this one with our lovely uh seating information all right it's like a boarding pass yeah i like this one a lot i also like this one too this one's really good and then we have this one which has the doggy the doggy that's on the the uh artwork Sorry, I don't know his dog's name. I'm I, I, I'm not army, okay? I am not army, so I don't know these things. All right, and then we also have these postcards. Yes. Nice, nice. Happy, happy. Moving on to what else we have in the box. We have this little open up for our lyrics yes and notes so the lyrics are on the other side that's what i was seeing yes yes like that we have a checklist you oh it's a legit checklist that you can use for yourself so it has these here and then you can Use the rest as you see fit. So that's kind of neat. You can actually have some utility to your uh, lovely album. Outside of the music itself, that is. All right. And then we have our lovely booklet. We'll hop into that after we look at what was underneath the booklet. Which is kind of like a photo booklet kind of thing. So that's kind of neat. Yeah. And a poster. Nice and glossy on this one. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes, quite. All right, so now let's look into the big booklet. Hopefully before the battery dies on this camera. On this battery. All right, so. Wow. Ooh. Ah. Look at that. A whole lot of V, which we like. The music was fantastic. Quite a chill vibe. Got it. Got it. Got it. And with that, we will transition into our next one. Because I had to change batteries. Team Fresh, love, love, love this album. It was awesome. I mean, Bubbles okay. Bubbles okay. It's passable. But the rest of these boy, ooh, not like you. 
I want to do be mine? I mean, oh my gosh. Bubble is like, it's fun in small doses. It's fun in small doses. Like this is this is the closest, this is the closest, um, it, it, it like, it was like it won over by a hair me being able to say this is like a no skip project it was it was like this close to me being like you know what yeah no i can't do this song but i can do the song but here and there here and there because i do like some of their cuter stuff i do so this one passes but uh boy i tell you one thing i can't wait to get that metamorphic bruh Ooh. Ooh. Wait, I think it didn't pass. If I remember correctly, it didn't pass. So I may not be getting Metamorphic. But Metamorphic has so many great songs. So many great songs. If you've seen my review, you know what I mean. But uh, this is the inside. And it uh, opens up from the side. So, or from the back. Which way? Which way is the best way? From the back. All right. Got it open without tearing it. That was my biggest, biggest concern. Oh, and it opens, opens wide open like so. Ah! That's what I was trying to avoid, and it so happened. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. <laughs> we got these photo cards. So we got Siyun, Siyun, and Yoon. Sensing a pattern with the names. <laughs> I'm just joking. It did it. Is this literally the same pick? It really, I literally got two of the same exact ones. That's crazy. All right. But uh, what's cool is that they have uh, these little cute character, uh, cute cartoon versions of them in the back. So that's kind of neat too. All right. And then we have this little tattoo of a cartoon version. I think this is supposed to be Isa. I have a feeling that's, a, oh, it says it, it says it backwards because it's a tattoo. Yeah, so it is Isa. See, I was able to recognize it just from the cartoon version. I did good. All right, um, we got Jay here. And this little photo strip. And then we have this little kind of ticket code thingamajig. Um, I guess I'm supposed to scratch this out to see who's who's behind it. Um, it's a message from Siyun. A lot of Siyun with this particular uh, package that I have. I got a lot of Siyun in it. And I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. But uh, I'm not going to scratch anymore. I'm just going to let you see what it says. Let's bubble. <laughs> Alright, cool. Got that. And then, oh, are you more of our lovely uh, Teen Fresh scent? But it also has it in Braille. Pretty sure it's going to say Teen Fresh. I don't know my Braille. But I know my Braille Watson. That's a different story. All right. Online info stuff that I won't need. We have our lovely disc in the sleeve. Wow, nice, nice. We got a poster, which I already have a poster, but this time we got Jay. Already got my representation for, for Stacy up there with my bag. <laughs> All right, so we got two little booklets. We have a comic book. Oh, I thought it was a comic book, but it's actually just the lyrics, which I'm cool with. Yeah, I wanna do. Oh, be mine. But you wanna be mine, be mine, be mine, be mine baby. So good, so good. And then even the English version of Bubble. And there we go. All the little cartoon character versions of them. Cute. Very cute. All right. And then this booklet has more of the credits and photos. Wow. Look at Jay. 
I'm like, hey, yo, oh, yes, ooh, yes, more yum, ooh, sayum, ooh, I say, ooh, sayum, ooh, where's my sumin? There we go. I had to get at least one sumin in there. We we got to see everybody else. All right. <laughs> All right, so that's that. That'll conclude the Stacy girls. It's going down. I'm still upset that that didn't come up on their full album. That was that was a bit disappointing. I was like, yo, they didn't say it. Stacy Girls is going down. I don't think they did it on Team Fresh either. I think they just ended up doing that. I'm trying to remember. Pretty sure they they only did did that. Because I remember there was one project where they had the Stacy Girls just going down on a on a b-side anyway that's that up next we have we have three more to go three more to go exo baby with exes yes yes love dias great project Truly, it went under it, it. It went under the radar. I feel like I feel like this project did not get appreciated enough, even by me. But that's gonna change. I got the CD. I got the CD now. So let's take a look inside. Let's first get what's gonna come out. There we go. Got that. Anything else? I feel like I feel the disc. So that's locked in there. So cool. Let's see what fell out. We got. Okay. Yee. Boom. And then we have this little kind of photo card. I mean, I mean, a uh, postcard kind of size. Like what is it? Was in, uh, five by seven, they call it. Uh, is that the dimensions? Then we got uh, the lovely SM stuff. And then we have this Suho holographic. Yeah, neat. Cool. All right, time for the photo booklet. All right. Wow. Whoa. Ah, lyrics too. Okay. Ooh. Yes, look at all the pretty boys. Oh, yes. Ah. Ooh. And the disc. Look, it's lovely shininess. Gotta love that. You know, they gotta pay respect to um, this song they need. Because of shininess. Sorry. Bad jokes. You know that's all I'm here for. Up next, we have Espa. My world, man! I tell you, this EP is phenomenal. Like truly, truly, like up and down. This mug is so good. It has so many fantastic songs on this thing. Ooh, baby! Ooh, baby! So. Let's see what we got. We got a sleeve for the disc. Yeah, yeah. Nice little sleeve. And then, ooh, ah. Love that. Love that. Okay, let's see if I can get it back inside, though. Ooh. All right, and we got a photo card of Karina. Yes, yes. Mm. And let's look inside. Whoop, 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 whoop. So pretty. Wow. Yes. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. So yeah, I guess this is kind of uh, the Karina version. Yeah, this is not as many pictures of anyone else. So. But yeah, a couple of you know solo things. Thirsty dog, oh my gosh, Thirsty is so freaking, so freaking bomb. 
you have no idea how much of this project is just so good unless you've listened to it. And even just Welcome to My World was like, ah, uh, odd, an, an experience. It's an experience listening to that, John. It's so good. All right. One more. One more to go. And the last one to share is NCT. Fact check, baby. Fact check. All right. So let's take a look inside. The night I stood alone as always burning myself a paint like go. Trying to find the real me, I've been grinding. No fake show. Ready or not, do or we die. We about to fly. Trust me and take it slow. Come and check it. Art is what I am. <laughs> Try to sound way more uh, profound with it than I, I really ever could. Okay. Okay. We got a little poster and some other goodies. All right, so we have a little sticker. I'm pretty sure this is a sticker. Like a sticker. Yeah, yeah, it's a sticker. So we got a little NCT 127 sticker. We also have this poster, nice and glossy, along with notes on the back lovely um thank you a special thank you notes here on the back so like that mm -hmm. you don't care about showing you the sm thing of a jig but we got this photo i like how they do like the the fact check kind of like the uh what do we call those again but basically kind of like the logo lines that you'd end up having. Um, we got this little photo card here. Yeah, yeah. And then, oh, this is very shiny. Um, this is what I read on the bottom of the uh, album. And then we even have uh, this here. Cool. All right, so let's look into, oh, oh, this mug is a sticker. I just tried to pick it up and it came off. So that's a sticker that I won't be sticking anywhere but sloppily back onto where it came from because now that's kind of messed up. I tried though. Let's look at the booklet. <laughs> Alright, so we got a sleeve that's holding the disc. Got some credits. Got some credits. I guess this is where all the credits and lyrics are too. Cool, cool. Yes, yes. Love is a beauty. All right, let's get some photos of some sexy boys. Oh, look, it's Jenny. Oh, yes. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. Sexy boys. Oh, yes. Ooh, group shot where you can't barely make out anybody, but you know, super fans, super in citizens will definitely know. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes, yes. Mmm, yes. Good boys. Oh, let's get a few more little pictures of little shots of some of the pictures inside. Oh, yeah. And we'll end there. <laughs> All right, and that concludes everything. Um, once again, this is a K-pop trove. Pretty cool place. Even got a nice, nice little fancy bag. Um, but yeah, it was neat going there. Um, and uh, they had a lot of really, really good stuff. Um, I went there again recently and I just to see what they had so I know what to pick up for next time. Um, and. I still have a good a good list of things that I can get over there. But uh, yeah, definitely would uh, suggest going there um, to, to the K-pop trove. They have some pretty good stuff. 
and uh, as always I'll show you what the shelf looks like now um, and eventually I'll have to add all of these <laughs> to the shelf so you're gonna be able to see the struggle that I'm gonna have I'm basically gonna probably have to get I'll probably have to get rid of like a lot of the stuff I've, I have on the bottom shelf and move things down it's probably what I'm gonna end up doing but this is what it looks like right now so uh, we got a up there for when I went to trap karaoke we still got our lovely pop um, thingies on there uh, we got all of these lovely things they're, they're all basically in alphabetical order by group um, so it's definitely still not size uh, maximized at all um, but hey for organization's sake the, I just decided to go by artist name um, and then here are our lovely uh, light sticks down here and um, some goodies down here these are the cups and and light stick stuff that I'll probably just have to find a different place for and that way I can move this shelf down um, and uh, insert more of the other goodies in um, so that's probably the plan um, and uh, yeah I have so so much music to give you guys reviews for I'm still debating whether or not I'm really gonna do individual reviews for like the Western stuff I have listened to all of it I've listened to everything I am caught up on Western music now um, the thing is how I want to do the reviews do I want to group a lot of things together to get it all out of the way do I want to just spend all day talking about each one individually um, which would also require me writing down my notes on all of them because I've simply listened to them so I have thoughts but I can't give detailed thoughts so I may just kind of group them together um, to give general thoughts on all of them um excluding the ones from from you know places i've lived i still have local artists that i'm going to be doing full reactions to um so i'm you know like i do for the um for basically k-pop so um you know gotta gotta always do the utmost that i can to to get the 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 local homies some shine so that's why i do those in a uh, reaction format um so i have that and then i still have a, a whole bunch of other k-pop albums to get to as well so um hopefully i can do a mad dash at the, towards the end of this year um to try and get that stuff done. Uh, I do still have a couple more concerts to go to. This weekend I'm gonna be going to see Tori Kelly and then I have Billy in December. Um, oh, also towards the end of November I have Kiss of Life. So you can look forward um, to some concert um, footage from those um, and uh, look forward to more music reviews to come. I'm, I'm slowly <laughs> but surely getting there, um, but uh, you know, trying to balance that and and work and my sanity is is difficult and i've been prioritizing my sanity um by you know playing games i like watching all the anime i like which i also haven't been really doing my re reviews on but maybe i'll bring that back towards the top of the year i might just skip out on that this year and, and start it again next year because uh when it comes to reviews i think i just need to focus on catching up on the music stuff so I think that's what I'll end up doing but you guys tell me um, what you guys think uh, because you know this stuff is is uh, important or not important to you so uh, you know tell me what you guys are wanting to see um, especially since a lot of that uh, content is um, you know good stuff for the blog um, so hopefully you guys are checking out Muddy Colt Madhouse um, to see all the lovely content that not only I put up, um, but also the head of the Mad Muddy Cold Madhouse puts up, which is Miko. So don't forget to support there. And uh, thanks to all of the patrons who are able to see this lovely video early. Um, and uh, thank you ever so much. Even if it's not a lot, I definitely appreciate it. Uh, we are still doing content um, that is open to free members. Um, twice a month so you have the first and the 15th that you will always be able to get um, stuff on the free if you're a free member there um, as well as stuff that just um, 
couldn't go up onto YouTube. That's also available for everybody, whether you have subscribed as a free member or not. Um, so always check into that content. And otherwise, um, if you're here on the YouTube, don't forget you can like, uh, subscribe, and the Patreon links in the description box. But until next time, y'all, much love, peace, threes.